Yo, yo. Second personality, he gets all of them. Nice. That, I like that. that is Lucas Bryant. That is Lucas, yes, that is Lucas right there. Hi, I'm Lucas. I'm, uh, I'm from Canada. Um, I'm not as cool as these two, and I have one. That's not even close. Oh, uh, hi, I'm Lucas Bryant. Uh, uh, well, I just think you're pretty pretty Yep. I don't know. Lucas sounds a lot like this. Why he does that? The poor guy's not even here to defend himself, but that's, that's not even his, he does, that's not his voice at all. He, he, he has a, what we call his man voice. Yeah, it, uh, it's well, a little bit, uh, Christian. Well, just, uh, but do you know the thing he does when he's, like, being goofy? Yeah. Like, he, when, when he comes to an event or something and wants to take a picture, all of a sudden he becomes the biggest freak. <laughs> it just does the weirdest stuff. It's so He's a strange, strange man. It's really, it's really cute, though. It's cute. It's cute. He has chiseled cheekbones. So, enough of Lucas Bryant. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not going there. So, we, uh, what do we do? What do we do? I mean, I did promise them snail races, but I think you've got that talk already. Well, I left my snail at home, though. So, yeah, and it's not named Turbo. You can tell I have a baby, right? You uh, yeah. yeah. too! Awesome. Um, but yeah, I was sure there was only going to be two people in this room, so thank you. And I thought it was going to be us. This is so awesome. I, thought... I literally thought it was going to be me going, so out of Tell me about you. <laughs> you know all about me, buddy. I do, it's so true. <laughs> I, te I, I texted Adam last night when I got, when I, my flight got in, I'm like, are you here? He's like, no, I'm at home, I'm driving up in the morning. I'm like, oh. He's like, why didn't you fly here to my house? I'm like, well, you didn't tell me, thanks a lot, effer. That was my play for the kids. Um, he said heifer, it's a female cow. <laughs> No, it was a, I said F er. Oh, like, because I took out the bad letters that made the word bad. I didn't say, why would you think I said that? Uh, I thought you were into a real. Are you in a life? No, this is real. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's like, so he said, he was like, why don't you come here? You could have stayed here last night and we drove together. I'm like, well, you should have told me earlier before they booked me a flight here. He's like, I did months ago. I'm like, oh. yeah. When we both said, yeah, we'll go do this. Okay, yeah, stay at the house. We got a partner above the garage. Yeah, come see. Yeah, the house is yours. <laughs> no, that's all true. <laughs> all right, so what are we doing? Question and answer, right? Yeah, yeah. So that means questions. Show us that means that. answers. Oh, that was my politician. <laughs> I hope these aren't expensive. Seventy-year-old grumpy woman. 
She's not grumpy. No, Gloria is. Although the character, right? Jane is amazing. Jane is um, awesome. Yeah. yeah. It was a lot of fun. I, and uh, I had heard that we were going to be doing that and that Dwight was going to be switching with Gloria. And I, I knew, okay, I, this is going to be so comedic. And I know that our end of it is kind of the comedy side because. You know, I'm a big meathead, and I have to, you know, try and pull off a seven-year-old woman. So I would watch her takes, and I got all of her her uh, scenes and everything, and then I tried to relate what I thought Gloria was, you know, from a male acting perspective. And I was like, oh, she's De Niro in Meet the Fockers. <laughs> okay, I can do that. And that's all I tried to do, really. And then there was a few things like where I grabbed my crotch that no one knew was going to happen, but thankfully the the camera caught it. Um, I don't know, thankfully, but uh, it caught it, and it was fun. It was, a, it was that was a lot of fun. It was mine was easy. You just have to stand there with your brow furrowed and make your voice deep and not move much. <laughs> it, it was much harder for him to do me. Because I, I apparently am like a spastic monkey. <laughs> um, but I, when I saw his impression in version of me, I was like, I don't do any of those things. What are you doing? You're just acting weird. He's like, well, that's pretty much what you do. Like, oh. But yeah, with Lucas, you just there, I, there's a couple things that like it, there's so there's his stand. He doesn't like to stand. It's always. So he's got this thing and his shoulders kind of ride up. Yeah. He does that. So you kind of have to do that. And then he kind of shifts. And then you just have to drop your voice. And so I just, it was, it was, it was actually harder because everyone kept going like, when are you going to do it? I'm like, I'm doing it. <laughs> he doesn't do anything. Watch <laughs> me. Yeah, actually, uh, you and we need to fight. had the toughest gigs because Dwight is just he's very you know uh, reserved and keeps a lot of stuff you know buried underneath how do you play that um, so my version of Dwight would have this yeah just a little one only in certain words yeah just in certain only in the fillable <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah sorry <laughs> Cassie why are we both holding our hands? Yes. Yeah, See, we like a steel trap. Why are we both? I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I feel like Ricky Bobby. I don't know what to do. Uh, okay. Fire away, Cassie. Hi, Cassie. Is that microphone even on? Lee. No. No, it's not. <laughs> oh. Oh, there you go. Most yeah. bloopers on Haven. Is that it? purposefully tries to create them. You're literally, he, he, he loves it. It's like, he, he, I don't know why, he's well, obsessed with blooper reels. And, and, but once he gets started, he can't stop either. Like, he just, How, all we've talked about is him, by the way. <laughs> Have any of you ever met Lucas? No. Okay, Good. So, yeah, if you ever do, he literally, I swear to God, he'll be normal for about three seconds and go, oh, I turn it up, I turn it up, okay, okay, I turn it up. He turned, he's so, I don't know. And he has very dainty hands, like little pincers. <laughs> okay. I think it was just to make sure that I didn't enjoy it. 
because she knows my, well, my now wife. Um, but she knows her very well, so she wanted to make sure like there was no, like, I don't want Eric to like this, she would eat the strangest things before we would have to have any kissing sets. It would be like Rockford cheese, uh, samosas, I don't know, something like that. But so, um, it actually was pretty awful. I know you were making a joke, because you assumed it would be really great. No, you're wrong. Totally wrong. I actually asked, I was like, could I make out with Adam or Lucas, please? That would be cool. I'm very tender. Well, and you eat really clean. I do. So. I do. So. Generally don't have halitosis. No. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to answer something, too. The, uh, so Dwight, uh, as far as I know, was initially just brought in for one episode. Um, I just retired from wrestling. Sean Peller and some of the executive producers wanted a wrestling tie-in for the show because uh, SmackDown led into Haven. Um, um, and it just so happens they saw my retirement speech, which was completely from the heart, you know, live TV, uh, like 20 minutes of me just saying, hey, see you later. Um, and apparently people were crying. So that got me hired for one episode. And then halfway through that, uh, about the second scene I did, they said, can you do more? Yeah, I'm sure, I don't got a job now, so why not? <laughs> And then it just it grew into this this thing that I had no illusions or any kind of misconceptions that it was you know, I was going to be an actor. I really uh, I didn't want to take away from proper actors. That that was my mindset. But then as I started to enjoy it and really kind of dig my teeth into it and the process and the creative outlet that I needed and I didn't realize I needed after after the wrestling was done. Um, then I really started studying and trying to get better and trying to, to really, uh, you know, bring up my end of it. Um, so that, like, if I'm in a scene with him, he doesn't have to carry it all the way. You know, it's like, okay, at least I can try. So, it was a lot of fun, and here we are. What? what? Why do you assume I'm going to say something sarcastic? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going to say something sincere, which was, it was really fun to watch Adam um, grow. You know, he... he he was, there was definitely a couple of scenes he was horrible in. <laughs> at first, at first, where he was literally like, yeah, I don't know. I'll do my best to get those things covered up, but I don't know if I can. <laughs> it was like, what is it? I think it was the exact time. Right. Um, but it was really, no, he was never that bad. But it was really fun to watch him embrace, um, because, you know, the performing that he did as a wrestler was really different from the, the subtleties of what you do on a, on a television job. And it was amazing to watch him grow. And I remember, it was this, was it this last season? There was a scene with, um, never mind. Has it yet? It. <laughs> you haven't seen it yet. You so did. It hasn't seen. happened yet. <laughs> There's a scene with a, uh, with a thing, and, in, and this thing happens, and he was really good in it. Well, and I will say, though, that from, from my perspective, this last season that we've already aired that you haven't seen yet has been, for the evolution of Dwight, my personal favorite. Uh, so many... Uh, pivotal things that I, that I was given the responsibility with and uh, tried to, to, you know, uh, do it properly, I guess. But it was a lot of fun. Yeah, you always try to do it properly. <laughs> Eric, um, I remember watching you on 24. Um, what did you learn in that, because they're two totally different shows. <clears throat> what did you take from working on 24 that you brought over to Haiti? Um, what did I learn on 24 that I brought over to Haven? Um, I learned that shooting a television show in Los Angeles is a lot warmer than shooting one in Nova Scotia. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, you know, I don't know, man. That's, that's an interesting question. Um, I think, you know, working on 24, you learn a lot from Kiefer. Kiefer is the, the, the coolest guy in the world. Um, super fun to hang out with. I 
I think that's been noted quite a bit, actually. <laughs> He's a really fun guy to go out at night with. Um, but at work, he is the most professional person you'll ever meet. He knows everyone's lines. If you're doing a scene with Kiefer, and you mess up a line, and like, ah, oh, shit. like that. I didn't mean to. He has a lot of kids yet, yeah, that's all. I know. <laughs> so if you I'm drop sorry. your line. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I mean, and you're wearing like a tiara. It makes it that a much worse. Okay. Um, but so if you would forget a line, he would know it. Whole speeches of every, I mean, he knew everyone's, it was amazing. So, I think the thing that I learned from 24, I'm kind of making up this answer because I don't really have a good one. But don't tell me about that. Um, it's just that, is that, you know, it's, it's a, it was how professional it was and how to be on top of it all. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's kind of underground. It's kind of Where are you? I'm sorry, man. Over here. Uh, uh, my question was, which was like each of your favorite episodes to shoot? Hmm. Uh, I would have to say some of the ones that haven't aired yet, um, so I can't tell you. Uh, however, also the, the body switching one was just for sheer idiocy and, and complete fun. Um, that one was, was a lot of fun. But, I mean, it's, it's an awesome gig. I mean, you show up with people that you're friends with and you get to goof around and, and then, so they're all fun. Um, it really, it's a fun job. You know? There's nothing to complain about. So they're all pretty cool. Yeah. I don't agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, favorite, my favorite one uh, was probably the season opener, season opener of season four when we first meet um, Emily Hanna's character. Um, I, I, that whole hospital sequence, and the, the, I got dropped into the aquarium thing. A, that water was 42 degrees. <laughs> and they had me do it like three times. Um, it was freezing. Um, but I thought she was great, and I thought that whole breaking out of the hospital stuff, that was like one of my favorite episodes, because it had a certain, um, it was just a little bit weird. I mean, it's all a little bit weird. And she was great too. She, yeah, she was, she was awesome. awesome. She's a Kiwi. Close to you. Not far. I mean, not close, but closer than here. We can't tell them This lovely woman, Fabiana, right here, came all the way from Australia to see 26 hours, folks. And she's wearing leggings for my clothing line, so that <laughs> I'll do the club electric and rose, everybody, in case you're wondering. They work. Oh, but, but I can drop it. Okay. I have stuff here. <laughs> question, man. Yeah, question. Over here. Okay. What trouble would you not want the most? Grace, look behind you. Grace, look behind you. Just be aware. That's all I'm saying. He's stroking his chin. That's always an evil genius. Yeah. Do it. If you're trying to cover it up, like, don't stroke your chin. Don't stroke the chin. You literally look like Dr. Evil. <laughs> Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> trouble. Yeah, what trouble would you not want the most? Um, irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> you mean like supernatural? <laughs> Supernaturally irritable. <laughs> I'd say probably blights. It's pretty horrible. You know, I'm attracting bullets. Um, I would have liked the one that where every piece well, of food turns into the the, uh, the one that I had for a minute, affected by in season two, where you uh, age really quickly because of because of the baby. The baby. My baby. The baby. My baby. I'm gonna go back to playing with the mic. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that would be the one. Um, I just had a thought. What was it? <laughs> no? Okay, it's gone. 
It was about trouble. It was about trouble. Something was good, too. It was like a great anecdote that I was going to share with you guys about a trouble. It'll come back to me. The trouble with troubles. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Question boy. Two for Eric. One, will you get an opportunity to sing at all on the show? And how did 6800 come about? I liked you in 6800 very much. Oh, thank you. Um, no, I will not be singing on Haven. Sadly. Um, I don't, I, I don't, <laughs> it's a great idea. I don't know how you worked that one in. I'd love to see it happen. But uh, no, that didn't happen this season. Um, and 1600 came about, um, it was really, you know, that was kind of, um, it was uh, magical, um, honestly. I, uh, I went and I auditioned, like a ton of other actors, um, and I had no idea it was gonna become what it became. Um, but when we shot the pilot for it, I mean, I literally did one scene. And it's weird, because I was playing this horrible, you know, drug addict kid, and I've, I've never really done any drugs. Thank you, yeah, it was all, Pretty much, yeah, I've, I've never, uh, yeah, don't do drugs, kids. You can curse, but don't do drugs. <laughs> Cheers. Wait, and don't miss her at some point, because she's really cute and she's got her hand. Yeah, you. Raise your hand again. But you can do the person you were good at. No, 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 yeah, I mean, well, he's here. You're super cute, too. Thank you. You're super cute. Hey, you're super cute. I hate watching myself, so I, I try not to. <laughs> All I see is bad acting. <laughs> when I watch it. So I know. I try not, I don't like, I don't like to watch myself. I'll, I'll sort of watch other people's scenes when, when I can and see stuff. But I don't like to watch myself. I watch once and I uh, realize how tired I look, and then I don't watch again. <laughs> yeah. Who are you guys' favorite people to film with? You're the cutest thing ever. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, Tennessee. Where? <laughs> Tennessee, well, Tennessee. Oh, that Tennessee. Yeah. You're super cute. I, I can honestly say, and this is a whole cliche, and, but every, everybody was awesome for me. I, I really, everyone brought something different to the table, and you get in there with uh, Richard and John, who are Vince and Dave, and they just, uh, they had this different element that they brought to the, you know, the show and the uh, comedic aspect, and it, it, was, it was a lot of fun. Um, I think anybody that, uh, didn't stick around for a while, might not have been as much fun to work with them. Are you looking for me to validate that? No. Oh, okay. My favorite yeah, person might. to work with was definitely uh, Lucas. Or, no, Lucas and Emily. No, no, wait, wait. Lucas, Emily, um, yes. John Dunsworth and, and Richard. Emily, Lucas, Richard, and John were my favorites. <laughs> No, 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 hang on. Emily Lucas, Richard John, and Jane, who played Gloria. Those, all, the, all those main characters. Except one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you. Really? <laughs> He's not serious about that. He knows, no, he, he knows, he knows, he knows that nobody knows. That's not true. What? 41 now, dear. I have no idea. I see bananas. <laughs> if found, return to Duke Crocker Haven. Mate, that's amazing. <laughs> like you were already super cute, and now you have a raddest t shirt. That's awesome.
so so that we actually wrestle on the show or that we go to SmackDown. Oh, okay, so you want to see Eric in tights, is what you're saying. <laughs> for a while, I knew I wanted to do something that had a Dia de los Muertos skull in it and something sort of about where I grew up. And, um, I was researching different artists and I didn't I didn't know Kat at the time and I, somebody said, oh, you should have this, this girl Kat Von D do it, she's really good. I was like, oh, I don't, who knows her? I was like, who knows her, I think. So I had a friend try to contact her through her, this, the, this shop that she worked in at the time. And a, a day later, this girl calls me, who was a producer. She goes, hi, 
I'm producing a television show with this tattoo artist named Kat Von D, and we were wondering if you'd be interested in getting a tattoo from her. Total coincidence. It was the craziest thing ever. So that was how it came about. Um, and now, I mean, Kat's awesome. And, and um, it was super fun. You're, you're, you're really upsetting the hate of people in here, but I don't want to hear about a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm happy to answer it. Sorry. We got time for one more, because you guys have to have your pictures taken. Okay. We can't just hang out here? Wait, wait. It's just so much more fun. Yeah, man, man. Like, is there something else happening? Wait, dude, what's your problem? I'm sorry. Do we have to leave? Do we really have to leave? Okay, they got the pictures. What happens if we're late? I think it's like 30 lashes. I can handle 30 lashes. I have lashes. You're good. Like yeah. That's a good night. Clap. <laughs> Those guys, uh, it was the most intimidating day. Um, I didn't have scenes in the movie with them, really. But, um, you know, I, I was in Texas at the time shooting Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and that was sort of how Tim McCandless called me and was like, will you come do this little cameo in, in the movie that we're doing here? And I was like, yeah, that sounds awesome. And I didn't know anything about the movie at the time. It wasn't, you know, it hadn't obviously been made yet. Do I sound as stupid as that? Um, and so I didn't actually know. I know I knew I was doing the scene with Josh Lucas. Um, I knew the story, which sounded really lovely. I knew who the director was, but I didn't know about Michael Caine and Robert Duvall. So I show up on set, and there's Michael Caine and Robert Duvall. They were literally sitting on a porch at one of, um, at this house we were shooting at, and they were the coolest guys. They were, it was like, it's, yeah, it was, it was absolutely meeting idols, because they are, Robert Duvall for me is, is okay, everything. So it was, yeah, it was really amazing to, to meet them. And then Michael Caine actually punched me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> there was a rumor on, going around on the internet that I, I beat up a guy and stole his tacos. So, <laughs> I, I don't know. It's this weird, like, one of those, like, weird thing, internet things where I kept getting asked about the guy, apparently, who claimed I beat him up and stole his tacos in a Mexican restaurant. Yeah, I've never stolen anyone's tacos. Yeah. <laughs> what? That's a really strange... Did you... Wait, did you just say something? I didn't steal anyone's burrito either. <laughs> <laughs> I feel better than oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is actually for Adam. How difficult, or I guess, what was your biggest struggle in transferring from the WWE over to Haven? Um, well, I enjoy wearing tights, so <laughs> I was kind of bummed that I don't get to wear tights anymore. Um, no, I, honestly, your jeans were pretty much tights. <laughs> yeah, kids, plug your ears. Mammal toe. <laughs> So anyway, uh, the, <laughs> the biggest transition really was was pulling back the huge kind of over-the-top mannerisms and movements that you need for wrestling to, to translate it to you know, a football stadium of 80,000 people. Um, so pulling that back when a camera can pick up your nose hairs and like just see every little ugly nuance that you have. If you start doing crazy eyebrows and like bugging your eyes, like I would do on wrestling, it looked absolutely insane. <laughs> and I had this director, Lee Rose. She came up to me, she goes, what are you doing with your eyes? I don't know, she goes, just stop doing it. <laughs> okay. It's my first episode. No, it's my second episode. Yeah. So, that was the biggest challenge. That and getting in my tight dungarees. What was it like when you could spear on Jeff Hardy off of the top of the ladder at WrestleMania? 
Um, I did think of all four. Uh, did not a whole lot of thought went into that. <laughs> we somebody threw you off a ladder? No. He he jumped voluntarily. <laughs> um, there, there was not a lot of thought put into that. We were two really, like, at that point, we thought we were indestructible, just two idiot kids that were trying to steal the show at WrestleMania in the Oscar Dome. And uh, that's the only thing that's played from that show, so I guess we did it. So you went into the town and made fun of their local team. Yes. <laughs> and that was a, that was a good thing. Yeah. Oh, we were, well, we were despised. <laughs> Wait, really? Oh yeah. That's your question. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Say roll tide or something. Wait, wait. wait. Have I not? Were, was was you? Were you a villain? Yeah. <laughs> That's not possible. I was a villain for probably three quarters of my career. And then became a good guy. By the end. Because you are a good guy. Well, when you like, stick you around for long good. enough, they go, okay, uh, he's been doing that this. That doesn't sound like a bad thing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's, there's so, yeah, I'm a horrible character, but so much fun to play. Wow, I had no idea. I always thought you were like... No, disgusting human being. <laughs> but no least, redeeming qualities least, whatsoever. Because in real life, he really is, I swear to God. Everybody, we all, he's the nicest human being on the planet. I'm like, 
it's shocking at times. He really is. <laughs> But keep going. <laughs> no, no, that was made a horrible, horrible character. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Very well. Thank you. Yeah, very well. All right, well, they did it up. It's actually made it. Thank you, guys. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, we will stay here all day. This is great. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, guys. You're awesome. Thank you. We had a great time. That anyone's even in this room. So. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, I love you too. There's another season coming. In the fall. In the fall. I'm probably not supposed to say that, but in the fall. It'll be out in the fall. The movies are changing. Where is it? No, it'll be this fall. It'll be out. Promise. I don't think I already said it on Twitter. Yeah. No, they won't. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, I'll get in trouble again. By the way, but congratulations. I'm always in trouble. Getting married. Oh, thank you. Oh, I got two. Oh, yeah. Thanks. So, uh, thank you. I'll show you pictures up there. So, congrats. Thank you. Oh, we're engaged. Congratulations. I, I thought we were just us talking for a second. I was like, oh, bitch. Oh, you didn't notice the magnet one over here? Thank you guys so much. Thanks. Give it up, everybody.